Hi guys, welcome back to I'll Read What She's Reading. I'm Kennedy. I'm Michaela, And I'm Reggie. And today we're going to be playing a really fun game. If you tuned in last time, me, it was just me and Michaela. Reggie was giving birth to her lovely child and we played a game where we guessed books based on their first line. So this is part two with Reggie. With I'm our, excited. Yeah. It's, it was actually so fun to listen to this episode and not like guys I had no idea what you guys were doing you guys just basically texted me and were like oh by the way we like recorded an episode and this is what we did and I was like oh cool and so I got to go in and listen to that and it was cool to listen to the podcast without knowing what the episode was Mm. we did get called me and Michaela got called the ADHD twins so we did hopefully this time it'll be a little bit more put together (sighs) we apologize (laughs) we're a little bit all over the place all the time But I think uh, we came prepared. We did come prepared. We did. But before we start playing, we're going to update you guys on what we have been currently reading. Also, we've been getting a few DMs and messages about how you guys can find us on Goodreads. They are linked in our Goodreads highlight bubble on our Instagram if you want to follow along with our Goodreads and stay up to date in real time. Yeah. So who wants to go first? Who wants to share what they've been reading? Not much to like say. I haven't been reading a ton, but I'm currently listening to A Court of Silver Flames graphic audio. I'm on the last. If you've been listening consistently to the podcast, you know I've been on my Akatar reread and I've been doing the graphic audios and it's been really fun. So I just had a long drive over the weekend and I'm over halfway of, yeah. A Court of Silver Flames. So yeah, it's interesting because it's almost, I almost feel like I enjoy the books more listening to them again. So it's really inspiring me to listen to Throne of Glass or read Throne of Glass again. I just don't know when I'm going to get to it. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'll read Crescent City again for a long time, but I don't know. It's just been really fun. fun. And I didn't think I was going to like the graphic audio of silver flames because i don't really love cassian's voice um but it's growing on me i have been skipping certain parts of the book i just the, it would be one thing if it was being like narrated with just like the narrator but having the any added sound elements to it is just a little much for me so anyways that's what i've been listening to nothing new i actually have no idea what i'm going to read next <laughs> That's okay. So, how much do you have left in A Court of Silver Flames? I think I have like thirty five percent left. Mm. I'm I'm cruising. So, I yeah, I I have no idea what I'm gonna read next, you guys. So, if you have any suggestions, I mean, by the time this episode comes out, I will probably have found something else to read. I would hope, but I'm gonna need some help. I guess I could start my fall TBR. We're yeah, or the book club book. Oh. oh honestly that's probably what it's going to be because it's a long one and I which even, it's on kindle yeah i think so so yeah i I can read that pretty decently fast i think uh when the moon hatched mm-hmm. our september book club book so that will probably be my next read actually so nice michaela well i uh listened to the graphic audio of a court of thorns and roses yep that <laughs> And just had the biggest brain fart. Um, at the beginning, it was really, really hard for me to listen to it. Um, I started to like it a little bit more closer to like the end. But I don't think I'm going to continue until closer to the release date. I the felt the same. The rumor is 2026. Oh, really? Yep. So... Uh, I just think I'm going to just listen like to the other ones as it gets closer just so I can better remember things because I feel like rereading them three times in like two years is a little bit overkill for me. Um, So, but it, yeah, it was good. It was good. It's fun. It's fun listening or reading it again a second time around. Just you, catching everything. Mm-hmm. You pick up on a lot more, a lot more breadcrumbs that they give throughout the series. Yeah. Um, and then I read um Not in Love by Allie Hazelwood. It wasn't my favorite of her books, 
It's actually probably my least favorite of her books, but I know some people really liked it. It just wasn't for me. And then I listened to The Paradise Problem. Um, Yeah, I don't remember a lot from it, and I literally just finished it. That I feel like that shows it was just like a medium book to me. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I also read the first two books in Ark of a Scythe series. And um, I'm not going to say much because we haven't updated. Um, Kennedy picked that book for me. So I don't think I'm going to um, read the third book, but that is not going to be offending Kennedy. I support that decision because I did not like the third book. So... Anyways, it's just a long book and yeah, just the way things ended in the second book, it was still really good, but I just don't know if I want to read the third book. So I support that. If you loved the third book, I support that as well. Just wasn't my favorite. Also, I have no idea what I'm going to start. I'm not reading anything currently. Well, you started Zodiac Academy for like two seconds. It's probably been like two minutes. Well, (laughs) there you go. Reading my reads lately have been rough. I'm not gonna lie. I read The Push by Ashley Audrain, and I saw a lot of really good things about it, and it was good. It's a psychological thriller about a mother, and that's about all I can really say. Well, it's about a mother, and she basically like kind of accuses her daughter of doing something, but nobody believes her kind of um yeah it was a psychological thriller but the twist was just once again when i read a thriller i want the twist to shock me and this was just very like here you go there was nothing shocking Mm -hmm. um but it was a little bit uncomfortable because the way the mom talks about the daughter it was a really interesting thriller on parenting in a bad way Mm. so i would recommend it if you're wanting a thriller something that's just like very mid not not anything super spectacular it was entertaining i listened to it in one like a day and a half but nothing too crazy and then i just got back from new york and i started a book called the city we became by nk jemison and i started it because i was going to new york and the book is based in new york and basically the premise is you have all five boroughs of New York and each purse, each borough has a, I can't remember what they call them in the book. Each borough has like a person that manifests as a human, as a borough. Does that make sense? No, No. but that's okay. (laughs) So it's like a multiverse and there's five people that are trying to save New York and they basically control each borough. So there's a person that controls Manhattan. There's a person that controls Mm. Brooklyn, person that controls blah, blah, blah. I had very high expectations because people said it was a mashup of um, Into the Spider-Verse and (laughs) what is that TV show? The Upside Down. Oh, Oh, Stranger Stranger Things. Things. Yes, it was a mashup of those two things and I did not enjoy it. And I'm really sad because I had very high expectations for it. And then... Currently, right now, I am reading Daughter of No Worlds by Carissa Broadbent, and I'm about 40% of the way through, and that's all I'm going to say. I'm excited to hear your thoughts. I also, real quick, I forgot that I did read recently, and I'm just going to update because you guys have read it, um, Project Hail Mary. Oh, yeah. yeah. I listened to it, and I am here to confirm that the audiobook is so good. And I highly recommend. I think had I physically read it, I would not have enjoyed it as much just because it's so science heavy. And so every time he would start talking about like equations and chemistry and whatever, I just kind of it went in one ear and out the other. I think it would have been a little harder to digest that had I been physically reading it. But there is a very cool element to it. And when I first heard the book, I was like, what is this in- musical like element I thought I heard of? And then I was like, maybe it has something to do with this or maybe it has something to do with this. And then I figured it out and I was like, wait, this is really cool. So um, I loved it. I loved it so, so much. So I cannot you're looking wait for, for a movie. good audiobook. Highly recommend this story. Like, yes, there's a lot of sciencey things in it, but the plot itself and the story so good like i laughed i cried i can't wait to see ryan gosling in this movie when it comes out in like two years or whenever that's gonna be (laughs) so i do think it's going to be a better movie than book 
mm-hmm. because uh, it was so science heavy. Like I felt like I was reading a textbook at times, but if you don't want to wait, I think it comes out in 2026. I think. Don't quote me on that. If you don't want to wait two years, the book is still very good. Mm-hmm. So, And that's what we've been currently reading. Mm-hmm. So let's jump into our fun little game mm-hmm. of guessing books based on the first line. I'm actually I'll- really excited. I'm excited too. I found some good ones. I'll go first. Okay. Okay. Do you guys want easy or hard? Hit me with your best shot. Yeah. Oh, let's see. Don't Sorry. peek. Did you peek? I saw she that peeked. One. Okay, hold on. Let me switch it up. If okay, it makes you here we go. Better, I probably wouldn't have gotten that one. I know. Okay, here it is. If I have learned anything in this long life of mine, it is this: in love we find out who we want to be, in war we find out who we are. Hmm. I'm guessing it's a romance book. Are we giving your? Did you? Do say you guys want? Genres? Do you want the genre? Sure. It's fiction. Oh, is it the? Why can't fiction. I think of the name? I can see the cover so clearly. <laughs> um, There's only so many books. The, ser- the Sisters and the War. The Nightingale. The Nightingale. It is The Nightingale, mm-hmm. yes. I could see it so clearly. but I- <laughs> Yes, The Nightingale. Okay. Yeah, that's what, that's, yeah, okay. I feel like that's once a you good said first fiction, line. it I is a good, like, okay, but without knowing the genre, it could have been fantasy. Yeah, could that's have been, true. Could have been anything. I was going to guess like Rebecca yaros like mm-hmm. uh, in the likely event in like yeah. the, mm-hmm. the things we leave unfinished mm-hmm. that's where my brain was going mm-hmm. but okay you go me mm-hmm. you want easy or hard hit me with your best shot yeah <laughs> okay okay gestures are all that i have sometimes they must be grand in nature gestures and we've all read it yes gestures Can, what's the the genre mm-hmm. yeah fiction okay say it one more time gestures are all that i have sometimes they must be grand in nature straight up fiction yep the only other fiction book i can think of that we've all read is like malibu rising do you want me to read the second yeah please yeah and while i occasionally step over the line and into the world of melodramatic and it is what i must do in order to communicate clearly and effectively (laughs) what is this book we've all read it and it's fiction we've all read it Give us another clue. Someone that can't communicate well. Another clue? I feel like the clue I would give. Color of the cover. Blue. Dark blue. <laughs> I'm literally at a loss. I don't know. Gestures. What is someone who can't? Dark blue. Okay. I'll read. This is not This is not the next sentence, but I will read. I have no words and I rely. Wait. I have no. Oh my gosh. Is it a dog's purpose? No. I haven't read that. Or not a dog's purpose. The Art of Racing in the Rain? Yes. <laughs> oh! Yeah. yeah. That's a good one. That is... Stop. Now I'm going to... Gestures are all I... Ha- oh! Now I'm literally going to cry. Why did you do that? I'm sorry. That was good. <laughs> Don't cry. <laughs> I literally might I cry. love that book. <laughs> yeah. Um, I thought that one was really good. I feel like that one's a hard one, but after you, you're like... That was a really good first line. You know? <laughs> yeah. Why'd you have to do it? I'm so sorry. Don't kill me. Oh, what do you think about that? I know. <laughs> uh, I'm okay. I promise. <laughs> I'm just really emotional about my dogs. They're there. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, let's do this one. A cottage on the rocky shoreline with a naughty pine. <laughs> did you have that one too? I did. <laughs> Okay, next sorry. one. That's okay. I'm sorry. Here, this one might be hard. <laughs> Dang it. The first time I met death, it was in my first breaths, or rather, the first breaths I didn't take. Well, it's fantasy, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Is it... Wait, death. Iron Flame? I mean, Fourth Wing? No. Death. The first... Death. Where do they talk about death a lot? Oh, um... Two Twisted Crowns? Serpents in the Wings of Night. Frick, I don't know. Let me read the next sentence. Yeah. yeah. I was born too small, too sickly, too quiet. What the, why is this like? Mm. This might be a hard one. I was born too sickly, mm. too quiet. I feel and like it's a series. It's in a series. Is it like in the middle of the series, or the beginning of the series? Middle. Oh, frick. I have another clue I can give. Okay. Is it, did I say the first book? So it's a six scorched roses? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. okay. I was gonna say, or in Kennedy's case, you read it after. 
Because I think you said that you think we had like a we debate did have on a this. debate, but I swear I said or you said before the first. I can't remember what you said. I can't remember what I said either. Oh, but, I think I did say after the second book, but I've come to the conclusion it literally doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, <laughs> good. Just read the book. That's good. Good job, Michaela. It's that's that is one of my favorite novellas I've ever read. That's, that's a, a good really one. good novella. It's really good, and it like serves a purpose. Okay, just turn your brightness down, Kennedy. Okay, I just need a private screen. I'm sorry, because Peaky Peak is over here. <laughs> it's not Miss Peaky Peak. Peak. I just see colors. Okay, I'll give you guys an easy one. Okay, what do you think happened to your mother? The appearance of Rachel Price. Do you have that one? Yeah. Okay, I'll do the another one. Of the reappearance Price. of Rachel she, Price. She got it. She Dang. got it. Yeah. Okay, let me find a new one now. Let's see. There once was a town. Is this part of your world? No. Yours truly? No. Frick. Um, oh, is it Novel Love Story? Yes. Oh, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to think of small towns. Novel Love Story. That's a short one-liner. Mm-hmm. There once mm-hmm. was a town. There once was a town. That's it. All right. Is it my turn? Okay. When we got the letter in the post, my mother was ecstatic. Letter. Oh, that's the selection. Oh, how did oh. you know? I think I looked at that one. Oh, mm. darn it. Anyways, that's it. You got it. That was a good one. That's a good one. That is a good one. Okay, Do you want to go again? No, it's okay. okay. Tonight, I will be murdered. What? It's a thriller. Have we all read this? I feel oh, like it's not. Oh, the only one left? What did you say? I said I feel like it's not a thriller. It is a thriller. It is? Hmm. Tonight, I will be murdered or yeah Dead. i will say that it is the it is the prologue okay tonight i will be murdered so it's in the pov whoever gets murdered obviously <laughs> <laughs> i don't know kennedy mm. Mm. Um, okay um I'm trying to think is that frida yes oh, i don't remember her books enough for that um um uh, the end just start listing Okay, wait, let me read you the next. Let me read you the next before you (laughs) solidify your next answer. Let me read you the first line of chapter one. Okay. Okay. After an hour of scrubbing, Amber DeGraw's kitchen is just about spotless. And the housemaid. Yeah. Oh. Did you guys know there's another book coming out in the series? It just came out. It's white cover. Yeah, the housemaid. No, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, wait, that one. Yeah, that one is actually the housemaid's secret. How, oh, how oh. secret! I thought I was picking the first book. So, anyways, possibly secret number two. Okay, okay. This one is, I would say, this one's actually going to be really easy. Okay, it's going to be very easy. I think. Okay. The king did not know then that his greatest love would also be his rumination. I can continue on if that's too hard. Wait, let me think about it. The king did not know then that his greatest love would also be his rumination. Is this a book that we've all read? Mm-hmm. Um, um, Nor that either would come in the form of a tiny, helpless human child. Oh, oh. The Serpent in the Wings of yeah. Night. Yeah. Oh, I want to read those again so badly. I just have so many other books I need to read. Oh, it's me. <laughs> That's a good one. That was a good one. Okay. The girl wakes up in someone else's bed. Oh. Um, Genre? Fiction. Hmm. Secret Life of Addie LaRue. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. That was really good. I was just trying to think. I'm like, what book would have that that's fiction? I'm very proud of myself for that. You, that is I'm very usually good. not you very good at that. these games. You killed that. Very good. Did we choose that for a book club book? Yeah, we did. Was that our second book club book? I think so. I think yeah. it was. Because Verity was our first. Yeah. Anyways. Okay. Wait, are you talking about Secret Life of Adi LaRue? Yeah. That was the book club book before we were a podcast. Oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Was it? Remember that book club we joined? That it fails? Yeah. Yeah. Do they still get together? You know, I kind of think they might based off of things I've seen on Goodreads, but like, oh. I don't really know for sure. Mm. Here's mine. Gods, it was boiling in this useless excuse for a kingdom. I said that word. Gods, it was boiling in this useless excuse for a kingdom. Hmm. Is that the... It's fantasy. Second Serpents in the Wings of Night. 
Mm-hmm. Is it a middle book in a series? Mm-hmm. Okay, I was feeling like that's hmm. Reckless? No. I don't know. What is the second line? Does that give it away? If there is a name, you don't have to say the name. Okay, let me find a different one. I'll, this is just a, an excerpt. I won't say what sentence it is or if it's a full sentence, but it says, She was sick of flatbread. Sick of the crunchy, oniony taste of it that even mouthfuls of water couldn't wash away. What flat bread? Or has flat bread? So the whole first part is about slowly baking in the sun like the loaves of fra- oh flat bread. Oh my gosh. The this city's- is air of fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought, I was figuring it was freaking the Throne of Glass book. Oh my gosh. Air of fire, yeah. <laughs> Dang. That sounds like a Selena thing to say. Yeah. Yeah. The flat bread. Oof. Okay. I'm mostly saying this because I think that this is the most epic first line ever, okay? I would have lived in peace, but my enemies brought me war. Bow of thieves. No. It is fantasy. Well, yeah. Well, no, it's not Bow of thieves. Dance of thieves? No. Hmm. So I'm like yeah. always trying to remember like which ones are like in third person, <laughs> which ones are not. Have I read this? I don't think I have. I think it's Red Rising. Oh, okay. I got one. Is it Divine Rivals? No, Michaela got it. Red Rising? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. You have technically started it. I started it like four weeks ago and haven't picked it back up, but I got it. I just think that's epic. That is epic. Mm-hmm. As soon as you said that, I was like, I haven't read it. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only one I have on here that we all haven't read, I think. I'm just kidding. There's more? Yeah, there's one more. Okay. I was nine the first time the physicians came to my house. One dark window. <laughs> all right you guys when okay last time we me and michaela did the episode we did do that one but i read the c- card oh instead because it was harder the card was harder than the yeah mm. first line that's the only reason i knew that okay mm. ready mm-hmm. they're calling him dr death oh <laughs> i have no idea you know don't you i do know uh dr death I will say, do I mean it's on your, your truly? It's yours truly. Yeah. Yep. Wait, really? About, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. That's a good first I line. I feel like it's very deceiving, like it could be like uh-huh. a thriller. I was going for thriller. Yeah. Anyways, that's why I was like, oh, that's a good one. That is a very good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, I got one. Is it my turn? I don't even know if it's my turn. Mm-hmm. Oh, maybe it's your turn. No, it's yours. The black water nipping at her thrashing heels was freezing. Hmm. The black water nipping at her heels was freezing. Is this in the middle of a series? Yes. Um. I, not the bite of winter chill or even the burn of solid ice, but something colder, deeper. A quart of frost and starlight. That's what I was going to no. say. Is it in the Akatar series? I think it's a court of silver flames. Yeah. That's a good first line. I didn't know that started mm-hmm. like that. Me either. Yeah. Revolution tastes oddly sweet. Revolution tastes oddly sweet. Is it from the the Cruel Print series? No, you've both read this one. Oh. The next time I will say if one person hasn't read Revolution. it. Revolution. It's it gotta be in the middle of a series. Yes, it is in the middle of a series. Revolution. To the revolution this. and the hope that we provide. I'm trying to think of series. I honestly just can only think of like the same four. <laughs> I know, that's my <laughs> right problem. Now. It's the second book in a series. The second book in a series. Can you read the second line for me? I would yeah. love nothing more. Yeah, please. Second line, please. I stare at my older brother across a scarred wooden table in the enormous, busy kitchen of the fortress. So she has a brother. Why can I not think is of it fantasy? Any, yeah, any series that has a brother right now. What is wrong with me? Uh, Wait, no. Is this Iron Flame? Yes. Ah, 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 ah. The shutters swinging in the storm winds were the only sign of her entry. Ooh. Gives me thriller vibes. Yeah, same. Is that a confirmation or Ooh. a deny? 
Reckless. Deny. Is it reckless? Deny. No, it's deny. Deny. Fantasy? It is fantasy. Hmm. Middle of a series? Yes. Hmm. The something? The something. The windows? Divine arrival? Mm. No. I'm just going to start naming random I'm, I was going to say, okay, I might me reckless me vows, me but... Give me more. Mm -hmm. Okay. No one had noticed her scaling the garden wall of the darkened manor house. And Crown of the, Midnight? Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah, that was good. That was good. Yes. I think I have one here. If See, this will... is why I need to read more of the same books as you guys so we can put this game more. I feel yeah, like we do though. read a lot of the same books. I know, but see, but the thing is, is it's like you two read a lot of the same books. Kennedy and I read the same lot. Like it goes yeah. in twos. Like all of us have collectively. Don't read. Yeah. 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 So also, I feel like we do listen to the same audiobooks, but I don't have access to the audiobooks for something. You know what I mean? I need mm -hmm. to like just write them down. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what was the first line? <laughs> yeah. Okay, Reggie, do you have one? Okay. This might be an easy one. When books are your life, or in my case, your job, you get pretty good at guessing where the story is going. Book lovers. Yeah. Ooh. Good. I wouldn't have gotten that. I have one. That was the one I had. You guys are going <laughs> to... Oh, it's okay. <laughs> I have a few. You can take a mine. No, it's okay. Well, then Reggie would only be able to guess one. Okay, anyways. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. This one, I feel like, is going to be extremely easy, okay? Am I the asshole for naming my ugly dog after Just my ex best <laughs> friend? <laughs> That's a good one. Okay, I do have one more, but I'm just not going to say the name. Okay. If that makes sense. Oh, like Nate keeping it blank. Yeah. Knelt before her undying master and contemplated how it would feel to tear out their throats. So like blank knelt before. Mm -hmm. That's brutal. Hmm. Who has a master? Undying. Ashes in the Starker's King? I'll read the next line. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Around her own throat, a silver torque lay cool and heavy. Is that how you say it? Torque? T O R Q E. Yeah. Yeah. So they got a collar. Is it Kingdom of Ash? No. I will say as a prologue. Is it a series? Yes. Middle book? Yeah. Um, I have an idea of like what character it would maybe be. Um, Empire of Storms. No. It's in the middle. It's not the end. Well, oh, it's House not, of Flame and Shadow. Yeah, it's not completed. Oh my yeah. gosh! Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hind, yeah. hind. Oh no, yeah. I, Dang. I, I know, yeah. That would have given yeah. away too much. Yeah. So that's why I just left it. Yeah. Blank. No, I yeah. like it. Yeah. Anyways, I have a few more. I can just rattle them off, and you guys All can right. guess if you want. I love. Okay. This one is. There's one mirror in my house. You want me to keep divergence? Going? Yeah, because you saw it. No, actually, do you remember that? I do. Rem well, it's I, probably I in remember. the movie. It's in the movie. Yeah. Okay. The rest of mine are pretty easy. The iron smothered her. Kingdom of Ash. Yep. Okay. We'll try again. I think all the rest of mine are very easy. The ones I keep finding are like way too obvious. Like I looked up the seven year slip and it literally starts with like yeah. the apartment was magical or enchanted magical. i'll try this one this last one this is probably the least obvious of like the other four that i have and if you guys get it we'll call it a day on vacation you can be anyone you oh want oh my gosh i people would be on vacation yes. i literally just opened that up the second you said that like i was reading it as okay that's so funny well that anybody got any other ones no that's I fun i just need to read some more books that are the same as you guys so we can play yeah. this game in a we should really have like a month where we, we all read, read the, the same, same yeah. books. We like we pick should. them out of a jar or something. We should. Let's do that. Let's do it in like December, like sometime this winter. Oh my gosh. Yes. That would, that be, would be really fun. fun. Yeah. I'd love that. <gasps> yeah. We'll make a combined TBR list. How cute. Yeah. I like it. I like it. I, yeah. I like that. That's cute. We'll do that. Perfect. We'll stay, just... stay tuned for that. That's the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll play this again maybe in six months, a year. This is just a really fun episode, I feel like. To one, yeah, to one, like you guys can guess, we can guess, but also sometimes the first lines in books makes you want to read them. Mm -hmm. So hopefully you guys have added a few books to your TBR from this episode and you were able to play along with us. 
if you guys want to follow us along on our socials, our TikTok and Instagram is what she's reading pod. You can also shop our merch at I'll read what she's reading.com. Did we ever talk about our live event on the podcast? Like after the so. fact? Mm-mm. Just want to give a shout out to everyone who attended our live event. It was so fun. Yeah, we had a blast. Like we left and we were just giddy. We were like, I can't believe we did that. That was so fun. And it was so cool to meet so many of you and our live portion after the movie the energy was just it was i hope that you guys enjoyed the energy because it was so fun to just talk back and forth with you guys because normally we're just talking to a camera and to each other so it was really cool to get your feedback from everything we were discussing so thanks so much for coming yeah it was a dream and if you missed our live event we did vlog it so you can go to our YouTube, see a little behind the scenes, see how the live event live event went, and hopefully we'll do another one in the future. Yeah. And we're in our vlogging era. We're going to try. So you can also watch any of these episodes. If you're not on YouTube right now, you can go watch and listen to them on YouTube along with some additional content. Mm-hmm. That's all we got for you this week. Bye. Oh, bye. Bye. <laughs> bye.